Okay, what I'm working on today, 2012 Lincoln MKX. Got the autumn, the power lift gate on it. And the problem that we're having is, is that no matter if you press the button, it gets about halfway and stops and goes back up. You can press the button. You can do it with the remote. It doesn't do it all the time, but most of the time. See, like it didn't do it that time. But most of the time it'll do it, no matter how you use the remote, the button inside, or the button on the dash. It gets about halfway down. Sometimes don't even make it halfway. It'll go down and stop and turn around and go back up. Now, see, I'm not going to get it to recreate it again. Now, since I'm videoing, but that's what it's doing. I'll try one more time with the button here. Yeah, it's not going to do it again, but it done it the first time, so you can see what it's doing. What I feel like it's doing is the motor inside detects when it's got any kind of force coming down on it. And that way, if you have something back there that, you know, it hits as it's coming down, it'll automatically stop the motor and make it go back up. So that's what it's doing. It's, it's thinking it's hitting something, even though it's not. So I think the mechanism in the motor that makes it reverse is bad. That's what I think it is. So I bought a new one from Ford, and I'm getting ready to change it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get a small tip screwdriver. Let's see if I can do this and hold the camera at the same time. All right. Now you're going to see a little lip right there. All right, you want to take your screwdriver, pry out on it while you're pulling against the thing, and it pops off just like so. That's going to be the first thing you're going to want to do. And come down here to that piece of trim work right there that surrounds that. This might be a little tricky here. Take a screwdriver or a trim tool, either one. And you're going to pop out the top. When you pop out the top, you pull it out. Like so. And then... I'm going to go to what? And you're going to lift that up. Just like so. See, it's got a, a lip right there. That little lip goes behind that piece of trim. So you're going to pull up on it. And whenever you get that done, you can just pull this completely off out of the way. Lay it down here. Now, that plug right there has got a little tab on it. See if I can do it while holding the light. So you can see. Not gonna be able to probably. Yeah, I can hold it with that hand. All right. We're gonna press down on that tab and then just kind of wiggle it and give it a little pull. And it comes out. Now, the bottom down here has a Thing on it just like the top so what you want to do is take your screwdriver stick it in there pry out on it a little bit and when you pry out on it a little bit you can just let me see if I can do this here kind of hard to hold the camera sometimes and just wiggle it off And that's it. Once you get that off, just put it on in the exact reverse order that you put it on. So that just snaps on there. You just push on it and it just snaps right back on. Now, Just plug 
your plug back in like so until you hear it snap and once you got that you can take your trim put this cover back down over it slide it down there like so and you want to get that lip to go back behind that again just like that once it goes behind it come up here just lift the whole thing up just snap that back on then you're gonna come up here and and you're done that's all there is to it Take my stuff out of the way here Closes just fine now. No stopping. All our chairs in the back there. Our daughter does soccer. So we have to take chairs with us everywhere we go. And that's it. I hope this helps on your Lincoln MKX or Ford Edge with a power liftgate. It sometimes won't close all the way when you press the button.